Okay. So this week, we are going to talk all about my particular follow-up system. Hands down, there's no if, ands, or buts. You must have a follow-up system. Back in the day when I would get an order, I would literally, you give me your order, I say thank you, come back to me when you want something else, right? That, that just doesn't work. That's not good customer service. And it is not how you're going to build a loyal customer base. I have tried a bazillion follow-up systems. I've tried the index card box with all of the people inside with, you know, telling me their favorite bars and all of the things, but it didn't give me a system as far as how I could keep track of them. Um, I've tried trackers, um, you know, where you open up a binder and there's a tracker there and you keep track. Some of you may love trackers. I have used Amy and still have an account with Amy. <clears throat> Here's the thing I hear. I don't have the money for Amy for the first four months, and if you're new and you don't know what Amy is, Amy is our follow-up system. And so you can go to your phone right now and look for the app, um, Amy, formerly known as Maven. And if you have nothing, then you should start with Amy. You're allowed to get four months free. It gives you the notifications. For me, it didn't give me enough information and it didn't give me a clear visual. I am like a pen and paper type of girl. So, and I do still use it. I will lock in, log in. I like how it kind of keeps track of my team to remind me, reminding me of things. So I do use a tracker as far as um, happy mail and samples so that I know. Um, that's right, Dina. Thank you for reminding me. There is a free version, you, but it limits you on how many texts can go out or something. Like, I can't remember. It's been so long. Um, and so I wanted something a little bit more in depth. And if you were like, oh, heck no, the binder system is not going to work for me. There used to be a binder system. There still is. Um, as far as it would tell you, you would follow up with people based on your order forms. And it was like the one, three, five month system. And you'd move the order forms and people still use that. I needed something that was going to give me a quick visual. And some people like spreadsheets. I do not like Excel whatsoever probably because of my corporate job. Um, and I always forget to do this, you guys, so that it pins right. There we go. Um, probably because of my corporate job, it was all Excel spreadsheets. And so seeing all those names and all of those numbers and all of the things just isn't aesthetically pleasing to me. My point is figure out what follow-up system you need. So one day I was sitting and I was like, I like the binder system, but it was only telling me when I needed to follow up instead of something super important to, important to me was getting repeat customers, getting people to order more than once because a number that's been thrown out is 70% um, of our customers only order once. That's huge. And so I wanted to know that without looking at a spreadsheet and without looking at and Amy, you don't even get that. You just get the notifications, right? You, you can kind of see. Um, so if you like an app and if you would be devastated by my phone, I know some people look at my phone and they see all the little red dots next to things and they're like, oh my God, how do you even function with all those notifications? So if you're that person that's like, I can't deal with a notification on my phone, the little red thing, like that's why Amy works for me. I mean, Amy's right there and I have 219 notifications. That doesn't mean I haven't followed up, following up, followed up with those people. It just means I'm using a different system. So I'll click on it and log in, make sure I didn't miss any. But what I was finding is, and they've probably fixed a lot of this, but it was missing people and it was having me follow up with the same people over and over again. And I couldn't keep track of who people were. Like it would give me the text messages that worked for me and it's great. And again, I will reiterate this probably through this whole thing is if you have nothing and you need to start with something right now, use Amy because it'll be a great way for you to get used to following up and authentic conversations and all of that things, all of the things. Um, I have tried them all. So one day I was sitting around and I said, how can I do a system where I can look really fast and see how many people have ordered based on the month. Um, and so I organize, I have two white binders. I've just replaced them. These are the better binders from Staples. Um, so the Target ones were just a little flimsy. So I just got these, these are the mini binders. And um, what this is, as you will see, is these are separated by month. 
this is uh, March, April, May. So all of these people have placed orders. And then these are all the other months. Now, what you may not notice is there's hardly any orders in all of the other months, right? And a lot more orders over here. This is a great visual for me because something that Gary Vee and many of my mentors have taught me is that you want to roll out the red carpet for the customers you have, right? You, these are your customers. They have bought in from you before. It's way easier to spoil these people and take care of these people than it is to post something on Facebook and hope that somebody finds you and have to start that relationship building all over again. Um, so what my goal always is every single month is to get as many people from this binder out of the three months that we're in and into this binder, follow up, send them something, have a conversation, check in, see how they're doing, whatever. That's what I did this weekend when I rolled all of these into new binders. So what this is, and I will show you guys, and I always have a, um, a, like a notepad and it just so happens that it fits perfectly on the side. And as I'm having conversations, um, I write down who I'm going to send something in the mail. So funny, all of the things right here that I'm sending out, these are people that didn't order, right? In the last three months. And my rule is for happy mail that you need to order in the last three months. If you don't order in the last three, three months, then I'm not going to send you happy mail and pay for postage and all the things. But again, I go back to, these are still customers. Four or five of these were hostesses. Um, so I want to keep that conversation going. So as I reached out to every single one of those people, I pulled them all from this binder and you'll see they all have, you'll see a little uh, pink sticky note on them, right? Um, and I wrote on there how I followed up with a Facebook message. And then over here, I just wrote who I'm sending stuff out to. Um, and I had a conversation with them and I think I posted it in one of the groups where it just said, Hey, how are you do doing in this craziness? I was sitting outside and checking in with my VIPs and I noticed we haven't talked in a while. Can I send you something to brighten your mailbox? Some smell good or whatever. And like, I don't even know however many packets are sitting over there. There's, I think there's 12 there and there's 12 up there. 24 people that reached out and we had a conversation going back and forth. And a lot of it wasn't about whether they needed something. A lot of it was just about, oh, you know, well, homeschooling's crazy or my town's opening up. And we just had a conversation. That's what checking in is, okay? And, and don't get it confused with follow, follow up for me is do you like what you have? Do you need anything? Are you doing okay? You know, all of the sensey questions, which you can add in to a checking in. But you noticed how I didn't say, do you need to buy anything from me? I said, how are you doing in this craziness? Is there anything that I can bless your, you know, that I can brighten your mailbox with? You know, is it a counter cleaner you've never tried? Is it a Scentsy soak? Is it something? So um, a lot of them hadn't gotten a new catalog because, right, they hadn't ordered. So they weren't on my VIP list to get new catalogs. They might um, have gotten a product sheet, but a catalog's more fun. And here's the thing with this as well is, I realized that I have a ton of catalogs. Um, and so I know they're more expensive to mail, but I want to make it a goal to send it out to current customers because I don't want them to expire. Even though we can put them in doctor's offices, dentist's offices, all the things, we're not going to those places for one. And for two, I don't really leave the house. So I made it a goal, like I need to get rid of these catalogs. So it's two for one, right? Like I want to get rid of them and I know I'm going against my rule that you have to order um, every in the three month period, but I want to make a connection. I want to keep these people. My dog, I have a 18 year old dog and she runs into walls a lot and she has a hurt leg and it's sliding and I'm watching her slide Poor little thing. Um, she can't see good. So um, we'll be talking about hopefully she doesn't run into a wall. Sorry about that. Real life people. Um, so I have these all set. What am I sending them? A lot of people ask is whatever I have on hand. Um, and what is going to be the lightest. So for them, you know, I'm going to send a catalog and I have two labels on them. You don't have to do this, but, um, I want to touch two things on the back. It just says, since he has done it again, creating the perfect assortment of decor and fragrance to make your, make your space the coziest. It's a little bit blurry, but I always use the two by four. They fit perfectly here and I can write a little blurb. And then on the front, it says, start your business. 
Um, it says, going into my 11th year as a top-level Sensi business owner, I'm just as excited to help new people start their business as I was back in 2009. The possibilities are endless, from confidence building, financial independence, travel, friendships, and so much more. You get to decide what you want your very own business to do for you. I would love to chat with you more about what Sensi has done for me, and more importantly, what it can do for you. $99 and the drive to want more is all you need. I can show you the rest. So I put that on the front, like use your real estate when you're sending things out, you know, I mean, it takes seven or eight times for people to see things to remember or think, Hey, maybe I could do that. So they're going to get a catalog. I also, as I'm, if you follow me on Instagram, you know, I've been cleaning and purging and getting rid of the stuff. I tend to order things and hoard them. That's not going to do anyone any good. So I had these rack cards with my face. You can get a deal on Vista print all the time and you can put anything on here. You can put Sensi Club info, you can put um, the subscription box info, you can do a thank you card. This was just a basic thank you card. Um, and it had my face on it the year that I started because it shows that I've been with the company for a while and it just is a thank you in the back. Whether it's a purchase, a referral, or a like on social media, your support allows me to work my business for home, from home and for that, I thank you. I prefer my best customers, that's you, to never pay full price for their products. Let me know before you place an order so that I can let you know if we have any discounts or specials. If you prefer to get paid on your purchases, I can help you get started with that for less than you think. And that leads me into the um, Hostess exclusive program that we had that we talked about last week, right? So that goes in there. Um, I also printed out, you can get Avery postcards if you want to do some quick printing. You should always have a referral program in place. I think Chloe created these. You can do one of your own. It just says... Um, is there two there? Yeah. I love referrals. Place an order, get a prize pack of up to $10 um, value. Host a party, 50% off item from me when the host closes their party or join my team. Free product value of the choice of up to whatever is in your budget to give. The greatest compliment you can give me is a referral. You need to ask for referrals. You need to say, hey, um, if someone else would love Sensi or needs a wickless candle. I'm your girl. Refer me. I take care of my referrals. I roll up the red carpet. I'm always asking for referrals and I get them constantly. So don't be afraid to ask for those on all of your follow up. I'm putting in a dish soap sample. These are sponges that I bought from Amazon, a whole box, cut them in half, um, swiped just dish soap on them, no water, put them in these four by six baggies. If you guys go to my Instagram, and you click on the link. I've now put all of my links on my own website. So you'll see business tools right on there. And every time I order something from Amazon, I add it to that link for you guys. So you can go find everything. And a lot of them I'm trying to catch up. I put a little note in the each product and it tells you what I use it for. Like I still have a lot of catch up on that, but you'll be able to find all of the stuff. These are just a two by four label. I create them in, in Canva. And all that is guys is the product, the dish soap sample, um, what the scent is on the back. You can copy the um, information that's on the back of the product from your website. You insert that right on Amazon, I mean on Canva, and you can make your own labels. You don't have to do front and back, um, but these are flat. So I don't know what else I'm gonna add, but I also get candy or gummy bears or something fun. And so I can keep this relatively light. I didn't wanna do extra samples because remember, they didn't place an order. So I wanted to give them something to make it fun, but I can tell you when I, and again, if it can only be a catalog, if it can only be a product sheet, if you have a ton of product sheets you need to get rid of, make it a goal to get rid of them all. Reach out to your people, use the text that I said. If you need that, I can post it on the page so it sounds authentic to you. Like, hey, how's it going and all this? Can I brighten your, I haven't heard from you in a while. Can I brighten your mailbox with something that smells good? You always want to check in and follow up in a way where it, really makes them feel that you're reaching out to genuinely hear how they're doing. I got responses back about their kids driving them crazy, their teenage daughters, you know, messing up the whole house and them wanting cleaning products, all of the things. Your goal should be when you're following up to get a conversation rolling, not just, hey, I'm putting an order in, do you need anything? That is nine times out of 10 going to be a no. One, there's something that happens when it feels like you're just reaching out to them because you want to sale. People will say no just because it feels spammy to them. So you need to make it, you need to end your sentence with 
a question that makes them respond back. I put two or three questions in there. Hey, how's it going in this craziness? I was going through my VIPs and noticed we hadn't talked in a while. Can I get you anything? Is there anything that you've been looking at that I can brighten your mailbox with? That allows them one, to tell me how they're doing during this craziness and say either no, which I got a couple no's, no, I'm good right now, my stash is full and there's nothing really that I wanted to try, but I can't wait for the fall catalog. Great, I'll make sure you get one. Um, but a lot of them were like, yeah, I'll take a catalog. You know, I just haven't been online or whatever the case may be. Enough to sending out 24 packets to 24 customers that I haven't heard from, a lot of them since last May. So I did everyone within a year People that hadn't ordered from me within a year or wrote back, I took them out of my VIP binder. They are in a separate binder in a bin up there where I will follow up with them maybe, you know, in six months or seven months. But if you're in this binder, you're going to get follow up. You're going to get happy mail. This tells me that you've talked to me. You have had a conversation with me. If you're in the third binder, then, you know, you still bought from me at one point in time, but you're not the top of my priority list. So again, this gives me a visual like binder one is in within the first three months. Now I would love to make it. So this is so full. It's only two months. Like my goal of binder a is to fill this up so much that tells me people are coming back to buy. So if this binder is fairly thin, it means that they have bought during these months. Cause what I, what I'm doing is there's these little, um, as you can see, little, uh, dividers and all 12 months are listed. So June's coming up, that one's already in here. But what I have is, this is May and April in here. All of these people, all repeat customers, a few new people, um, a lot of new gentlemen who have placed an order for NFL warmers. And by the way, like right when you get off this webinar, you should be posting your VIP group, touching base with anyone that was interested, letting them know they have till three in the morning, which is, or 12 Eastern, whatever, to place that order for that NFL um, pre-order. And so here's what this consists of. And I just made some new ones and I can share this file because I wanted something on the back. So, oops, I'm going to show this to you. Um, this might not work for some of you. Uh, because you would rather have everything digital. And what's funny to me is that I'm a digital and tech nerd, but for some reason, when it comes to checklists and people and me keeping track, this allows me to have a space, and I know you can do it on Amy. Again, this is just my preference so I can flip through and see people and remember, this helps me also remember people's names and who people are, because I literally have to ha create a sheet for each person. It's just a, a mental thing with me. So... For every customer, they get one of these sheets, which I will post in the link that will be on the YouTube for this. Um, on the front, you'll notice there's, there's a blank spot and I'll show you one that's done. Mm. There's a blank spot. And what I do so that it's all uniform. Yep, she did, went to the bathroom right here, real life. Senior puppies, you know. Um, there's a blank spot. So what I did to keep it uniform because I am OCD streak. I used to use streak too. Like I've tried them all. Um, I use my label maker, which is somewhere and I put their name at the top like this. Okay. Um, so it's just a form and the form goes in one of these sleeves. Now to do this system, it took me a while. It took me a bit to get everyone on a form, but once you get everyone on a form, it's not as difficult. Um, yeah, she can't hear me either. She can't he hear and she just barely sees shadows. But when I say food, that little dog is running like she's in a doxy race, like for real. So, um, so I put their name at the top. I write in their phone number. Here's what writing in their phone number does to me. It tells me, make sure they're in your phone. Okay. Because when you use apps like hit them up, for those of you that are new, there's an app called hit them up. If your customers are in your phone and you label them as VIP customer, you can literally use hit them up enter, enter, search all your VIP customers. You can click them all and you can send a mass text out to all of them. You're updating your phone with your team and your customers is imperative because Facebook is one thing. Like you can touch base with people on Facebook, but it's way more personal if you have them in your phone. Okay, Melinda, see you soon. Um, so I recently just added to these, which I didn't have on this is connect 
that's going to tell me where did I can, where did I meet them? Did I meet them on Instagram? Did I meet them through, through someone hosting a party? Are they just a friend? Are they a family member? Whatever that tells me where I met them. Okay. Then you'll see four little, um, boxes, not boxes, but words, VIP host club and join. Okay. So I take my handy dandy highlighter and it's my, which Amy doesn't do. There's a note section. Yes, I know all the things, but this VIP, I highlight it if I get them in my VIP group. So I can literally flip through my binder and go, okay, I have six people that aren't in my VIP group. Can I send them a link? How do I get them in there? You guys know your VIP groups are your gold. You want your customers in there. You want them to get notifications. You want to thank them for different things because we don't want to post all this stuff on our personal pages, right? So you want to get them in your VIP group. So I wanted a way to track that. I wanted a way to track if they're a Sensi Club member because I want to make sure they get some really good happy mail. Why? Because if you get them in your Sensi Club, that's PRV that's coming every single month. Those should be top level VIPs. Those are the people you sell, send random happy mail just because like you want them keeping that VIP, um, that club membership on there because you, it's really nice when you build that up and all of a sudden, bam, you have three, four, 500 PRV and you didn't even have to sell anything that month. That's just something they get with a subscription or they have bars coming in and bring back my bar, all the things you want them in club. So if they've hosted a party, I'll highlight host and I'll write underneath there when the party was that they hosted. And then if they join, I highlight this, I put when they joined, if they go inactive, I put inactive. If they joined my team, there's a section in the back of this one. These are all VIPs that have joined my team, you guys, all of them. So what happens? I can keep track of all these people. And if they happen to go inactive, if things didn't work out, I can move them back into my VIP binder because the business may not have worked for them, but you don't want them to feel like they can't be a VIP and you don't want them to feel like they can't come back at a better time. We all know people that have joined. We all know people that fizzled out. We, we know people that have come back and rocked it out. It has to be what's right for them. And what I, I tend to see is a lot of people will join, quit, and then it it's like you have to send a search party out because they really feel kind of crappy about the fact that they got a kit and didn't do so well at it. So that, if they join my team, I put join, their join date, I put them in the back of my binder, pull them out of my VIP stuff. If they um, go inactive, I write inactive, the date, put them back into my VIP. So it's a way for me to keep my VIPs with people that have joined and it lets me know like, hey, you joined, we're having a reinstatement promo or you can come back for free. You know, just constant reminders of who VIPs are and who our team members are and put, pulling them back and forth in and out to keep that relationship going. So then I keep track of their orders. I check my order history every single day or I get the email. I find them, let's say um, I just got an order and let's go to December and it's from Mandy. Okay, Mandy placed in December. I'm going to, now I sent her a Facebook message and we talked. She's going to place an order, wants a new catalog, all the things. Her last order was 9119 of 6148 and she ordered uh, 12 bars, which makes sense. Um, so now I'm going to find her order and I'm going to move her into May. This immediately tells me that that was her last order. I know she placed an order. She's within three months. It also gives me a very quick look of who's getting happy mail. So I can literally put together all my happy mail. I open my binder for the last three months and I can literally send happy mail to all these people without pulling a spreadsheet. I put them all together, I envelope them, I stamp them, and then I do a bunch of labels with all these people's names on them. I use my Dymo maker and as new orders come in, the, the orders that were further back, I move to my binder number two and I keep moving people up. My goal is to get all of these people ordering within the last three months, whether that's sending them something, sending you, sending them a coupon, checking in with them, even if they don't buy, just checking in, seeing how they're doing and getting repeat customers. This month during all of this, I have a lot of people that have placed new orders. So I make a bunch of these. They're in the front of my binder in my drawer here. I have a stack these mini inserts. These just keep them nice because you're going to pull them out and write on them. I also keep notes on here. Like is something going on? I love to put little post-its on them. I pick a color for the month and that tells me like 
I followed up with them for that last month. So I just make a mental note of what the color is. It just keeps it organized in my brain. What I added for this month is on the back, I printed contact and happy mail. So I could technically take the little orange sheet and put it on the back telling me when I contacted them and like this person, I'm going to write that I sent out one of the little packets and what date so I can flip through really fast and see that I contacted them. Um, I get such satisfaction out of someone ordering that are in binder number two and moving them to binder number one. It is like I just won the Olympic gold medal because it is really my goal to get repeat customers because I know from a marketing perspective, it is way easier to keep the customers you have and that relationship you have with them. If it's a brand new customer, you can bet your bottom dollar that they are getting the thank you happy mail kit that has all the samples, all the things, because I want them to get that and be, in like, and be like, whoa, I order stuff all the time and I never get thank you happy mail like this. So they'll get a sample of um, counter cleaner and washer whips and Scentsy Soak and all the things and with confetti and a sticker and a referral card and whatever else I have to throw in there. This is the importance of bulk sampling at the beginning of the month. Um, I think someone had a bulk sample tracker that tells you, is somewhere around here, that tells you all the things to make at the beginning of the month. Scentsy Soak, counter cleaner, Scentsy Fresh, um, the pet supplies, you can get different containers, all of the things where I just put a, you guys can see it down here. I'm going to do a walkthrough on my Instagram stories. This is a mess right now with trackers and stuff. But down here is that little thing that I got from Target with all the little bins and inside is Scentsy Soak, all the things. So I can literally, when I did those, I literally just grab, 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 line them up like this, put it in an envelope, address them, label them using pirate ship and go. Now, um, Budget wise, if you can't do all of this, if it's, you know, $2 and something to mail out a catalog and the idea of doing that 24 times is just not in your budget, you order those product sheets, you order those um, showcase, whatever showcase brochures that we have back there, do a thank you card and get something flat like the washer whiffs or a scent circle, whatever the case may be. It can be a couple felt samples, you guys, just something where thank you is the message, or I haven't talked to you in a while and this brightened up your mailbox, um, all of the things. But I, it was crazy to me that I loved doing it this way because you guys know that I run my business online. I use all of the apps, all of the things, Google Calendar, I line things up, um, projects, I use Trello. But this just allows me to see who's here real quick, see who's here real quick and go through and be like, okay, last May, because you have to move the May divider into the month that you're in. Right? So I had probably three or four people that ordered last May when I started the month, just like June, I moved, get this. I moved the June. This, this is going to tell you something. I moved the June divider up here. And when I started on Saturday following up, there was probably six people in here that had ordered last June. So I followed up with them first. Four people ordered and two are getting a packet. So I was able to move this divider up because I had followed up and had a response from the six people that ordered a year ago. Now, if I never would have followed up with them and just been like, oh, I haven't heard from a while, oh well. Or if Amy didn't catch them or follow up with them because it had been too long, I might have missed them. And I literally want my messages to be very authentic and sound authentic. And each one might be different. One might be, Hey girl, how's it going? How's the kids? One might be, Hey, Mr. Griffin, like, you know, how are you doing? Because it might need to be a little bit more professional, but it literally helps me flipping through this. Remember each and every person, like you see, this is why I read in my forms because, um, Leora was, from Instagram. I literally wrote it here. So I wanted to create a form where I put connect on there so I could tell. Um, she's also in my VIP group now. She was someone that I connected with because we talked to, we, she found me because I used the hashtag that um, uh, for my surgery. So that's how we started talking. And then she, she noticed my account, asked what Sensi is, started buying, then started buying for her mom. Her mom's in my VIP group now. They both had happy mail goal at last. Like they're going to be blown away at the happy meal. I, happy meal, 
happy meals are good too. Happy mail that um, I sent them for being new customers. Um, Stephanie said, yes, yes, yes to pirate ship. They even pick it up at your door, no extra fees. Absolutely. Yes, you totally wreck with different customers and it means so much more to them when you know their favorite scents or something special. That is what I liked. Um, I like taking my binder to the bedroom at night and just going through and I'll have my laptop open and it's nothing to just check on orders and make little notes on these. Like, and we can also pull that bring back my bar report to see on there. And a lot of times our, I'll already have like, this person loves beach. You know, I really try through my conversations to figure out what their favorite scents are. Um, I have one customer that ordered so much and she loved Sunkiss Citrus washer whiffs and laundry care. And she ordered so much of it. And I've been desperately trying to send her new scents because she loved that scent. And Sunkiss Sun Citrus is different than any of the scents we have now. It was very orangey, very citrus and lemon isn't like that. It, and we just don't have that now. So I just keep trying to send her things so that she can try them to see what she likes. And she's valued that. Like, I so appreciate you sending me stuff to see what I like. Um, and then I just go through this once or twice a month. I check all my orders. Um, if they're a past host, I write in here. If they have something going on, I'll put a little post-it note on here. Um, this just allows to tell me that these are my super VIPs. These people have, and a lot of these people ordered two months ago. So I've literally kept them in the same binder, binder and moved them to May. And they will order for June when Bring Back My Bar comes out. These are the people that I definitely want to get them to the next binder, but they're not super VIPs right now. And then the third binder, which I put away, I may pull out once every couple months just to check in and see how they're doing. I will definitely pull that out when a new catalog season is upon us and see how they're doing and let them know that a new catalog comes out. But this tells me, gives me an immediate look of um, who comes first, who comes second, and who comes third. Now, um, some people like the tracker method, right? So you have a tracker, you open your binder, you're writing everybody in that's placed in order. The problem I have with a tracker method is you can't move them through the system. You have to either rewrite them or put them in a new month and pull out all your months. This allows you to have your months right here. And as they place an order, you pull out their card, put it in the new month. You know that they've ordered that month. You know exactly what you're gonna do, what you're gonna send them or how you're gonna handle them because you have different customers in your community that place orders differently. If someone places an order once every month, you can bet your bottom dollar if I do a new sample, they're getting it in the mail. Like if they have a Swift box, they're getting something in the mail. Every single time um, a Sensi Club order goes through, yes, they get a thank you note and a new sample in the mail because that's how you get people to add to that Sensi Club, you guys. So um, how... And, and this is just, like I said, you guys are all going to find your own follow-up system. If you have nothing, if this is too complicated, you're like, heck no, I'd never be able to handle that. Um, use Amy to get started because this was a, a brain baby, like just sitting here like, what would work for me? And I was like, instead of putting them in a binder by when I have to follow up, why don't I put them in a binder by month? Because if they're in that month, that's automatically going to tell me that I need to tell them when it ships, if they liked it you know, and so on. I'll be able to tell. I, I don't need something that's going to say, hey, today's the first of the month. Today's the sixth of the month, like whatever. If they're in May, I'm going to go through and make sure that the order ship, that they got everything. Do they like it? Are they loving the sense? Which is their favorite? All the things. Um, people that place an order in April, you know, I'm going to go back through and like just checking in, you know, how are you doing on your stash? All the stuff that immediately tells me that. Would How many of you would doing it this way might help you or um, you're like me and would get totally, um, <laughs> total glory from moving each sheet. And like I said, I'll tell you guys, when I was first creating these sheets, it was monotonous and a pain in the butt. And now I have my sheets ready. I pull it out. I put their their name and I can make notes about them. I put them in a sleeve and I'm like, yes, a new customer, a new person in there. Um, yeah, you like tech. Um, and I do too, but the movement for me of people allows me to remember them better. For me, seeing them in a spreadsheet or just Amy or whatever, it didn't, wasn't clicking in my brain who each person was. And I love that when I stop on one sheet, it's one customer at a time. I can remember them. For me, me writing their number here is like a check mark that I put them in my phone 
for me, flipping through tells me, oh, she's not in my VIP. She doesn't have a highlight. I can go follow up with that. Um, she's hosted before. Those are the first people when we have a new catalog, right? I'm going to flip through this book and go, there's a host, there's a host, there's a host, there's a host, there's a host. Sometimes Amy and spreadsheets and things like that um, don't give you that type of information. So this is, and it is working incredibly better than any system that I've ever had for me. I literally, um, she's using Amy, um, Brittany, um, and again, Amy is awesome because it's going to give you those autumn. And there's, here's the thing, dive into Amy, you guys, because there's little drop downs and things you can do and things you can add and, and ways that you can place them in different categories and all the things. Um, and she's setting up custom messages. I hated that I had custom messages and I had to change every single one because it didn't sound like me. Like I put in a basic one and just, I would rather flip through and go, oh, hey, there's Beth. Here's my message to Beth. And I knew it would change every single time. No matter how hard you try, if you set up your messages pre, like if they're in there and you don't take the time to change them based on, and they get the same message over and over and over again, that's very easy for someone to tell. Um, there you go. So, and, and so these are the different things. Like this is why I wanted to cover this way because you guys have to be honest with yourself. One thing that I want to tell you is if you are a subscriber to Amy, and you have it in your phone, but you have 290, 19 notifications on here, that's not working in your best favor. Like if this, if it's not working, you have to be honest with yourself and tell you and tell yourself, look, I'm not following up with customers every week the way that I should. And you're going to have a very hard time building that customer base. If you don't follow up, I've told the story many times. I'll tell it again. My dog groomer, she sets me for six weeks in her phone. I don't call her. She calls me. She called me, texts me yesterday and says, I have you set for Wednesday at 1230. Perfect. Thank you. People need to be reminded. They need to check in. You need to check in with them. They love it. They won't remember. And right now they are stuck home. If you are not taking advantage of the fact that people are home and people are scrolling and people are checking their messages and people are ordering, you're going to have to work three times as hard when all of this is all over. Here's what I want you to remember. If people say no, that they don't need anything right now, or they're watching their budget, that's okay. Like, it's not a personal thing. Like right now, people are either watching their budget or they're spending. It's one or the other. And so tell yourself as you follow up, don't get attached to the outcome. Check in, see if they need anything. If they don't, you check in with them in a couple months. Will you check in with them next month and see how they're doing? Just move on to the next person and find a system that works for you. There is Streak. There is Excel Spreadsheet. There's also another um, Excel Spreadsheet that I'm going to add to this, which sounds funny because I said I hated Excel Spreadsheet, but it's going to give me a little bit more information of so that I can see an overview instead of my binders of how often people are ordering and how much they're spending, which I want to know too, which you can't keep track of through sheets like this. This just tells me how many repeat customers I have, which is a huge goal of mine. I want all my customers to be a repeat customer. I want them knowing me as a sensi lady. I want them to love getting their happy meal where they're happy. What is my deal? Why do I keep thinking of happy meals? Um, I want them to love getting their happy meals so much that they come back to me. So this gives me a goal get all these people into this binder and get them repeat customers every single solitary month, turn them into hostesses because they're spending so much and then flip them into team members. Because like I told you guys last week, every single party that you get, every single open party that you guys open every single month, you have the ability to add a hostess kit to that. So what are you going to do? You're going to go through your spreadsheet of who's spending the most and be like, hey, Sally Joe, in the last two months, you've spent $438. This is how much you would make. I have an open party right now and I have a hostess kit. So that's valuable information that you want to find ways to track. So figure out what your goals are. Do you want repeat customers? This might be the way for you. Are you just trying to get consistent and make sure you're following up with people? Then Amy is the way to go. If you want to see on your spreadsheet, how much people are spending and how often they're buying, then an Excel spreadsheet might be the way to go. But pay attention to little things like that because when you have an open party every single month like you should, you should be able to go to whatever follow-up system you have and say, hey, Sally Sue, here's how much you spent. I have the ability to give you a discounted kit. You should get paid on your purchases. That's how you build your team.
And so a lot of people, which we'll start with talking about next week is we get so caught up with recruiting people and then being a leader and doing this and training and doing this. But guys, the three, four things that you should be focused on is PRV, follow-up, referrals, and sponsoring. Like if you don't have the PRV every single month, how are you going to train your team to have PRV? You know, you, you have to lead by example. You have to lead from the front. You have to do all of those things. And the way to get PRV is asking for referrals, following up with every single order and every single NFL pre-order I got, which was like 32 of them, every single one got happy mail saying, thank you so much for your NFL warmer. I can't wait till you get your item in September. If you need anything, here's a product sheet, blah, 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 whatever. I probably got 12 or 13 new customers. So you can bet your butt, even though I didn't get PRV on that 10 bucks, they were getting happy mail so that they don't forget in September. I'm who they pre-ordered with. I'm the one that's going to spoil them. All, every single order that goes in that workstation, pre-order, order that comes up, new order, old customer should get something in the mail, should get a text message. I just got your pre-order. I just got one that said, um, Thank you so much for your, which was a new customer. Here's what I sent. Hey, Amy, I got your pre-order for the Titans warmer. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. And I can't wait for you to get it in September. Be sure to click this link so I can send you some happy mail and samples. I love spoiling my customers. And I sent her my VIP group link. Of course, I was going to send her anything anyway, but that link is going to get her to my VIP group, which both of those people that did a pre-order did enter my VIP group today. So guys, think strategically, whenever you're doing follow-up, you know, if you, you want those people, the, the people that order on your PWS that you don't know, you're like, okay, I want to send you happy mail. Here's how you get it. Click my VIP link. And they don't have to be friends with you on Facebook yet. They're going to click the link, go directly to your VIP group. You're going to accept them. And then you start building the relationship with them. And that's someone who was looking for a consultant in Florida, found me. I emailed her back. She said she emailed like four consultants no one messaged her back and she went right to my website from the link and placed the order. And I said, let me know if you have any questions, make sure that you click the specials area where the bundles are so you don't overpay for wax and check out the clearance section in case there's anything that we have on clearance that you might want. Um, Desiree said, I've been in contact with a lot of past customers, just asking them how they are and how they've been and asked if I could send them some happy mail. I've gotten orders from that. It, it, it truly makes a difference when you lean in on follow-up on and what can you do for them? You know, and just saying something as heartfelt, is there anything that you've been looking at that I can brighten your mailbox with? Now, if you're going to do that, you have to plan ahead, right? You don't want to be scurrying and go, oh, they just asked for some counter cleaner. Like I better order samples and do all the things. That's why right now, the last week of May, you need to make a list of packets that you need, samples that you need, bottles that you need. Like this is pretty cheap. You can get 40 sponges or something on Amazon for like $18. You cut them in half. Use your hostess awards, throw some sun kissed citrus dish soap on here. You don't have to use these packets. You can get plastic packets that are even cheaper. Throw a label on here. These are pretty flat and light, and there's your sample. Be smart. Do what you can do right now. If it's one type of sample, do a whole bunch of them and say, This month you're focused on dish soap samples. Maybe as you make commission from that, Next month, you grab a little bit more money and put it towards counter clean samples and all-purpose samples and all the things like Scentsy Soak is super flat that you can put in these baggies as well. Washer Whiffs can be flat, a little bit heavier. These are super light and these, uh, these sponges are all cut in half. So I got like a hundred and something samples from a box of 40. I don't even know how many are. I'm just saying it was like triple of what the sponges came in and all they do is wet it and they wash and they're going to smell sun kiss citrus good goodness so follow up happy mail i mean these are printed on postcards you could do it on i just did a leadership one that's all printed on paper you guys if you're really budgeting you can do all this stuff black and white work with what you have just get a system down um amy streak ex, excel spreadsheet like whatever um, you can also, this video is going to go on YouTube, but if you look up binder system, there's another binder system that does follow up by how often to follow up with people. That one I just couldn't keep up on. So what's the biggest point of all of this is find the system that works for you. And right now tonight, your homework is, is the follow-up system I use consistent and does it work for me? I want you to ask yourself that question. And if it doesn't, then you're going to go on the hunt for the system that works for you. It could be this one. It could be 
if nothing else, you all should start on Amy today. You get four weeks free, you get four months free. You can use the um, free version until you can pay for it. After that, I think it's what, is it $10 a month or something like that? Get using something. But even as you use Amy for a few months, I want you to ask yourself, is this working for me? And if not, let's figure out how we can get a system because you don't want to struggle finding customers every month when the customers you have would have, excuse me, purchased from you if you just provided extreme, perfect customer service. So follow-up system. I am going to stop recording. So if you guys have questions, we can, um, no, I don't want to end. I just want to stop